this is uh, our Coturnic quail, and these are my quail condos that I made. I took uh, two by fours, ripped them in half uh, to stretch the material, and then there's some other material that's just random, as you will notice, and each condo is made differently. That one over there is actually our brooder, uh, the small brooder's on the right, and then you can open up a door in between, small, very small door, and it goes into the larger area. It's kind of nasty, so I'll actually show you the details of that at a later date. But this right here, the first one, is our Goldens. This is our golden Coturnic quail uh, with our little banny hen, Harley. Uh, Harley, somebody had Harley and they had her in a pen that had the bottom mesh too large and her leg had gotten caught in there and damaged. They were just going to throw her on the burn pile and just let her die. Uh, but they gave her to, to us instead and because of her leg we named her Harley. It's the wrong leg but it still works. And if you don't know, uh, the reason I do that, we called her Harley is because bikers tend to have that limp from kickstarting their motorcycle. So her name's Harley, and this is our golden Coturnix. We have male and female in here. The male is that back one over there with the golden chest. The female's right in front of him, fixing to walk to the right with the spotted chest. There's a male, and there is a female right there. This is the Golden Coturnic Quail. They have, it's about six foot by three foot condo. The metal on top is there because there's a leak in the roof that tends to come down and get them pretty wet. As you notice, there's also a piece of paper underneath here because we notice, see how much they're wasting when they eat? If they can't eat it, they'll drop it and try to break it into pieces. And what happens if you don't have anything underneath there, you're wasting a good, am a good amount of uh, food, which our chickens take advantage of, as you can see. Also have the uh, section over here for them to lay their eggs. Truthfully, they lay them anywhere they want to. But this is also a good secondary place for when it's cold. They get in here, they huddle up, and it's got a windbreak in there. We put hay so they can stay nice and cozy in the wintertime. But then again, we're talking Texas. This is the first condo I made. It's actually upside down per how I made it because I was thinking that they were so small they were going to need smaller mesh. So originally, this was the bottom, and it was a quarter by quarter mesh. This, the poop doesn't clean out very well. As you can see, here, where I gotta get in there and really clean that up, this is, that's part of the uh, small brooder. But anyway, so what I did is I flipped it, because I had the top, which was made out of the half by half. And this works really well at keeping stuff clean in here. And this is the Pharaoh Coturnix and very just like the golden, I don't know if you can see it, the males have the solid and the females have the spotted chest. There's a male right there. And there's a female right here. Let's see. Here we go. Male and a female right back there together. And she's trying to go into the girls only section, which is the egg laying section that hmm, they may lay an egg in every now and then. So same concept. As the other one. Now, some of you might think, well, you know, this is kind of tiny spaces for quail. But quail are very skitzy animals, and with it being short, it keeps them from kind of spazzing out and hitting their head on the roof, which will cause damage to the bird, or actually even kill the bird by breaking the bird's neck. So if you keep 
I believe the height on mine is 18 inches. Keeping the height that low, they refrain from jumping up and causing damage to themselves. They're real happy birds in there. Uh, I can't tell you how many I have in that space without counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think I have 15. Yes, I believe I have 15 in each cage, excluding Harley. And they fit nicely in there. Lots of room to maneuver around. And they tend to be happy birds. They haven't complained to me at least.